welcome to another episode of Hood Games. I'm your host, the 40 year old gamer. Uh, Sony uh, PlayStation fans, or fanboys, I still call them, because they're not really fans, man. But you know, they're, they're fanboys, and they've been putting out a whole lot of propaganda for the last couple weeks, man. And I am happy to get here, man. Let's get into, uh, did they celebrate too early? Howard, and he can even say your name. Let's head out. Yay, AI names, yay. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Rip Starfield, LOL. Before I can see all of its info and resources, you can choose. Yeah, we got played like a fiddle. Fast travel to known locations. This is not... Backing out further, you can view all the planets in the I'm system. not wowed. Obviously, the game is big. You know, I kind of feel bad. Imagine you spent years working on freaking Starfield and No Man's Sky just fucking ruined your ass. Like, these, okay, these game dude. developers are getting screwed. Man, what is wrong with Dreamcast, guy? He delusional. Quests. Look at all those freaking Fallout 3 NPCs. We're designing a city. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Tyler. Yeah, I'll see everybody at too many games. Look at how it's coming together. <laughs> oh my god, I am voice acting. Look at all these dead-eyed NPCs. Hey, I love this part of Fallout 4. Wow, you hate Starfield that much. Yeah, guys, this, uh, this is it. for you. We decided to make the cities bigger by populating them with fucking mannequins. I know how character creators work, my god. Oh. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new different ammunition like explosive. I'm a PlayStation simp, yeah buddy, you got me. You got me. I like video games. Nah, man, you 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 that whoever said that was exactly right about you. Would y'all be mad at me if I ended stream? I'll be honest, I'm bored as shit. Nope. You're a PlayStation meat writer, <laughs> buddy. This game looks like dog shit. Mm -hmm. You guys can have this. It's yours. I, honestly, I am glad people are gonna have more fun with this game than I am. I'm gonna review it because I review games, but this uh, this gameplay. I mean, I really enjoyed Fallout 4. Six, seven years ago, uh, and this is Fallout 4. So, I mean, it's it's like a remake of a seven-year-old game, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It looks like a really solid six out of ten. A lot of variety. It's really good. A good six out of ten. You guys, uh, after that two out of ten you got from Redfall, this is a uh, this is three times better than Redfall. May need to switch things up. You corny as hell, man. This is three red balls stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. Feel free to subscribe for more hot takes like this is dog shit. I love this terrible AI. I've never seen a single one of these people even land a shot. Look at, look at all this terrible AI. They just stand there. Maybe you prefer something Every enemy just walks at you. They're not even shooting! Shoot! Enemies, shoot! Not a single enemy is even trying to attack him. That guy fired two bullets. They're not even attacking! So what you saying, you don't like Starfield? Hm. They're just standing there! No, they're not. Oh, that guy threw a grenade, kinda. I know there was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the game. There actually wasn't a lot to take in, Todd. You know, as we play it, we're always sharing these. Well, this is kind of a dog shit conference. What do y'all think about it? I'm gonna film a video talking about this, because, uh, wow, this was dog shit. Starfield is coming to PlayStation 5. Uh, usually I like to do a big dramatic intro, but, <laughs> but wow. honestly, this just is something that's so monumental, people are completely freaking out. Dude, you are the so fake. The biggest Xbox exclusive of the last half decade is now coming to Sony, and people seem to be downright pissed. 
need to flip flop shit on me. Just like a whole I knew in Detroit back in 62. The reward of Cole Eastwood is up to be paid accordingly. Get this man off the street. Lock him up for his lies. We want justice. Fuck you, Cole. I sit on that on Netflix and I scroll and I scroll and I scroll until I find something that I want, right? That's not necessarily a great thing, right? So that's why like his mouth open stuff wide. isn't it's not attractive to like a lot of people. Cole, are you okay? Yeah, I I got a DM right before the show started. I wish I would have read. Um, yeah, you I celebrated too early. Okay, because okay, I want to keep this. Next week will be better, laugh out loud. Don't believe everything you've read, exclamation point. When I talk about read. people that I trust, I'm talking about someone that I'll, we have 1,400 people here watching. I'm gonna read it again. Because Phil said we're gonna talk about it next week, and I hear you. We hear you. Next week will be better, laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, I said, I said, sleep well. What a crappy week. And he said, next week will be, he or she, you know, next Not week will be better. Laugh out loud. Don't okay. believe every truth you've read. Exclamation point. Mm. Mm. Get the flip flop shit on me. Just like a whole I knew in Detroit back in 62, 63. Reality, and you see this is like men acting like children, mostly men, women too, acting like children. Because they think they played, they played Halo with Phil Spencer once, and so like Phil Spencer's his best friend, and Phil would never do this to him. And I'm not talking about anyone specific, because I don't even know who exactly that is, but I know that the, that's the kind of discourse that's going on out there. You have one of the king ponies, and he said, you know it's bad. He starts off by saying, what Xbox game do you want the most for the PS5 Pro? So he does wow, Halo Master Chief Collection Halo Infinite. Horizon 5, Starfield, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Sorry. Tim Dog says PS5 Pro went from a full on piece of shit to the best way to play Xbox games. <laughs> really? Tim Dog doing another space. Says I'm not an Xbox fanboy anymore. But were you ever? Mm, receipts. I love receipts. Tim Dog also says, I'm doing okay. I probably made more money on Xbox and Twitter than you have in your bank account right now. Now that's funny. Sorry, one late listener and tweets your account. No one listens to tweets your account. You are one of 82,000. You, you pay my light bill. Thanks. Wow, Tim. Just a while. So you're using the people emotion we're emotionally tied to these console. And we'll be in other episodes too. Because we have so many receipts. You and your friend Peter Oviel. It says I see a world where Game Pass doesn't come day one. But come to the platform when it hits third party. AKA Sony and Switch. Six months down the line. Now, oh shit. Nine months down the line. God damn, you don't want us to have nothing, Tim. You want us to have nothing, you son of a bitch. Like I said, things are changing. Things are, things are some, I don't make that sense. Some, some things I can see happen. Doesn't mean I, it will. Oh, wow. I think lack of clarity to Two on XGP or Activision is real. God won't be day one this year. That's very likely. Don't hate me for telling you what I think or what I heard. Bust. That's all. Receive. <laughs> so Tim Dog was one of the main culprit spreading that day one for uh, Game Pass won't be around anymore. Sick son of a bitch. Get the flip flop shit on me. Just like a whole I knew in Detroit back in 62, 63. Peter, we're not, we're not, we're gonna find you, son of a bitch.
Rage. Red Raider and the Bounty Hunter. We won't rest until we do. Let's see what some of the things Peter has said and done. Son of a bitch. Peter Opio says, I understand your position. Phil Spencer lied to the Xbox community. How? Many are choosing to be blind to it. The only person who's lying in this case right now is you, Peter. Right. What did he lie about? You don't ever say what he lied about. He just say he lied. So, give us an example, Peter. You don't have one. Peter, as you as you know, you're only doing this for engagement. You're only doing this for the views, the, the retweets, the people who white knight you. The people who white knight you. The world know, as they sit on the stage and they told you, what are they bringing? Why are they bringing? Yo, I hope they they right, it, period. The Does it seem like a lie? Why yes. Right? But I'm confident he just got over it. What sound like a lie, man? Or the one who's blind and then you don't see it. Peter Opio says, I am an Xbox man. I am not a Phil Spencer fan. Some nutcracker below me. You're an Xbox fan, but he ain't a Phil Spencer fan. Okay. Anybody who has a juice world, Lil Uzi Vert, 6 9 whatever, to talk a snitch, or XX Tatiana, you can't trust them guys. They all are liars and grip. They don't want to be their self. Yeah. He said, we need more people like Peter Oviel. Mm -hmm. And it comes up with a change of heart because he knows he hires us. We need more people like Peter OVO5 in the council community. A change of heart because he knows the higher ups aren't your friends and will say anything to get money out of you. Do whatever you want and like whatever you like. Just remember, we all gamers. Whatever, dude. It was so freaking good. I just finished watching the PlayStation State of Play that's <laughs> kicking off 2024, and clearly, Sony wanted that to be a very special showcase. It was 40 minutes of new gameplay, crazy releases, tons of dates of when games are coming out, surprise reveals, lots of remakes of remasters, and across the board, it all looked incredibly fantastic. Sometimes no, these showcases so. have these like dull parts, particular games that just don't look good or the trailers are poorly edited, but this time I'd probably give this a straight up 8 out of 10 because everything they showed off looks like stuff I definitely want to try. But let's go through this bit by bit. Let's actually talk about this entire state of play in case you happen to miss it. And I'm going to do a follow-up video because they showed a surprise shadow drop, which is a new Silent Hill game called A Short Message, which you guys know, I am a Silent Hill fanatic, so let's actually start there. Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you Man, haven't already. You are so corny, so Dreamcast, we got a bunch of Silent Hill news today, including a detailed look at Silent Hill 2 Remake. Which has, it has invaded PlayStation and has fucked the heads in their head. That's right. <laughs> I, I think all the Xbox people have invaded PlayStation and have fucked the creativity out of Sony. They have Fuck the creativity out of Sony. They're like, hey, we got a, we got a new fire that we want to create. We want to put out this. They're like, fuck them. Fuck the creativity out of them. Fuck the creativity out of them. Wow. That standing tune. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh, 
our work here is done. Bro, do you all remember South Park where he's like, I'm going to fuck him to death? <laughs> I'm going to fuck the terrorists to death. That's what they're doing to PlayStation. Rise of Ronin, in my opinion, is the biggest surprise of the Let showcase. Let down of the showcase. We've seen bits of this before. We'd seen them actually display it at previous PlayStation showcases, but this was the first time where they just showed us, like, classic, the controller is in your hand style gameplay, and it looks absolutely glorious. It takes place in an era of Japan when East meets West. We're playing in like the late 1800s when you're starting to see people come into ports. There's classic architecture and lots of people walking around in suits. But at the same time, there's people that are still carrying around samurai swords and getting in duels to the death. What did y'all show? What did y'all show us, bro? Fucking Ronin. Ronin looks like, like a PS3 game. It looks like a fucking PS3 game, bro. Fuck you, dude. Cast guy here, talking today about the Xbox business update because it has finally happened. After tons yes. of rumors and speculation and leaks, and it was Microsoft great. has officially come out and done a talk about the future of the company and the console. Talking about exclusive games, how Game Pass is going to work going forward, and even some stuff about games that are coming to the PlayStation 5, which honestly has me pretty excited. Get the flip flop shit on me! Just like a whole I knew in Detroit back in 62, 63. You were getting Halo, but got into this instead. <laughs> this is too good. Cryfield. There's Starfield, Cry which is on Xbox, and then there's Cryfield, which is only on PS5. PlayStation will not release any new major existing franchise titles before April 2025. <laughs> so MBG is having a meltdown about that. Meanwhile, uh, Harrison Ford is writing on the wall here just by an Xbox. MBG oh looks gosh, sick right now. <laughs> Just a reminder, a $3 trillion company is having a podcast in a few hours telling you how they can no longer compete with Sony and Nintendo in gaming. Oops. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Oh, no. Right. Jade up, sweetie. Now that we're on the other side of this and you're chugging the copium, uh, do you see how you lost... Do you, do you see why you shouldn't celebrate early now? Right. Guys, I'm sorry, but can we just give it up for Xbox? Let's freaking go. Right. Let's freaking go, dude. Xbox is it killing was PlayStation. It lies, dude. It was all lies from the beginning. Tom Warren, Jez Corden, it was all wishful thinking. You know what it was? It was all lies from these dudes who want Xbox to fail. The amazing thing is people were That's celebrating true. the funeral. I agree. They were actually acting like Xbox is about to die. And yet all of us are thinking in our head, why do you spend $68 billion on a company who's about to go out of business? You don't. Because Daddy Phil is here. Daddy Xbox is here. And PlayStation's head is about to get crushed. PlayStation's shit is about to get pushed in. Deal with it. <laughs> get mad. Be mad. But mm. what makes this so delicious is that they were celebrating the funeral of Xbox yeah, as they if it were. had already happened, and yet there was nothing had happened. Right. There was no information. There was no real you real news. It was just speculation. Nate the hate. I blame Jez Corden. I blame Tom. I blame Tom Warren. Uh, and then I also blame these Xbox traders like uh, Tim Dog and Crap Gamer right. and Xbox Curator and the rest of these phonies who turned who showed their true colors that they be bleed blue. So guys, I'm going to get into the funny stuff in a second here, but let me just say how hilarious. <laughs> Can I just say how hilarious it is for them to be celebrating the funeral of Xbox and then for Xbox to burst from the grave and be like, bitches, I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. Um, and guys, these really... All these places celebrating too early. Showing how desperate they are for Xbox games. They're begging on their hands and knees like a cheap hooker for Xbox games. But Phil came out and said, nope, not a single Xbox exclusive you guys will be getting. Or maybe, I mean, they're going to be getting some three or four year old games, but none of the big, big games. So Indiana Jones, Starfield, Hellblade 2, Stalker 2, all of the games. Uh, Xbox reminds fans 
more than 10 major releases are on the way. Ah, ah, so, oh, we have no game. We have no games. <laughs> PlayStation have this no is games. Sony right now. We Just have like no I've games. Been Xbox reminds fans more than 10 major releases on the way. Diablo 4 coming to Game Pass in March. Uh, Game Pass full lineup. Guys, they're begging on their hands and knees as we will get into. <clears throat> but guys, let's just, let's just, can I just jump into some of these? <laughs> can I just jump into some of these memes here? Because, so this one had me dying. You've got Xbox exclusive Indiana Jones here. And he's drawing a face <laughs> of a sad <laughs> PlayStation fanboy who will never get Indiana Jones because... Uh, the PlayStation console is trash and it's dying. Right. Um, <laughs> MBG gaming here is, is is MBG gaming here is having a meltdown. PlayStation will not release any new major existing franchise titles before April 2025. <laughs> yeah, he is. So sick. MBG is having a meltdown about that. Meanwhile, uh, Harrison Ford is writing on the wall here just by an Xbox. Just oh buy an gosh, Xbox. It's too good. Right. <laughs> Somebody commented, I'm shocked he was not dressed for war. Apparently this incel MBG, he who's blocked me on Twitter, by the way. I'll show you all the PlayStation fanboys that blocked me on Twitter. But he's uh apparently he's not he's not dressed for war. He's not in his uh he's not in, in, in his Metal Gear Solid clothes. Uh, I was which just gonna say that he looked like Snake, now, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. Cry field. Not coming to PlayStation. Eh, 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 not coming to PlayStation. Oh, no, 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 no. Not coming to PlayStation. Sorry, guys. Um, Cry field. There's Starfield, which is on Xbox, and then there's Cry field, which is only on PS5. You can only get Cry field on PS5 because <laughs> they crying about it. They um, show sure is, man. Oh, my gosh. So, this was great. <laughs> GameStop gonna be busy this morning, and it's a Terminator saying, "I don't suppose I could get my Xbox back. I've changed my mind." <laughs> uh, dude, guys, look, I said this nope. on the Dark Brigadier podcast the other day. We are dying with Xbox. We are going down with the ship. I will never touch a new PlayStation console. I will never buy one. If Xbox goes down, we go down. They could give Xbox's games to every other console, and we're still going down with the ship. So. If we have that kind of energy, do you think we were one of these people who were returning our Xbox to GameStop? <clears throat> these people are dead to me. People who went online and posted their receipt about returning an Xbox to GameStop, you're dead to me. You're dead to me. I will never respect you. You have zero integrity. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> when you thought you were getting Halo but got <laughs> uh, guys, don't don't do don't do pint of it like that. Some people like Pentiment. Some people did, really did like Pentiment. So Jeff Keeley is uh, posted saying, after watching the Xbox business update, how do you feel about Xbox's strategy moving forward? And I'm interpreting Great. for you, Jeff. Hi, Mr. Xbox. Yes, sir. I would very much like to work for you. Can I interest you in some Game Award nominations next year? Because Jeff as Keighley we know, a, a Sony Jeff Shield. Shill, Sony Dick Sucker Keeley, the dude is bought off by Sony. Sony yeah. pays for awards, and he they give uh, he gives them awards. Chico Cash posted uh, on the day that Xbox was supposed to die. <laughs> Sony just spi spiraling. Sony in an absolute death spiral right now. Oh my gosh. J Rock says ponies right now. <laughs> oh, ponies down bad. Oh my gosh, literally. Ponies look bad they, right now. Check their mental state. They're they're not in a good spot. And guys, this is this is the dude at the forefront of your movement. Is um, we have no games. <laughs> that is simply the statement. So, guys, next, what I want to do here is go through a little segment that I'm adding to my Xbox show called "Oops, should have waited to celebrate." Oops, should mm -hmm. have waited to celebrate. And what I'm what I'm going to show you is. <clears throat> Tweets that people uh, uh, posted out declaring victory, declaring Xbox dead, and the news is, oops, should have waited, should have waited for that one. I screenshot at the very moment, I screenshot at the very moment that broke the back of PlayStation, and it was when Phil Spencer said they are not Starfield oriented in Indiana Jones. So, 
Starfield, not going to PS5 as much as y'all begged like a cheap whore on your knees for it. Indiana Jones, not going to PS5, although y'all begged like a cheap whore on your knees for it. <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't happen. King Thrash says, there will be a lot of podcasts today, but the round table always lets the dust settle before we speak on it. <laughs> we have been telling the future for years now, while most of these podca podcasts have been pretending they knew. Round table, Saturday, 2 p.m. Pacific time. We will have a full breakdown of today's events. Mm -hmm. RIP Xbox channels. RIP PlayStation fanboy salt videos. <laughs> they salty. No. PlayStation salty. Oh, no. Didn't happen. Full assault. Didn't happen. Still waiting on that news. That was the news that I did receive. Um, <clears throat> Xbox curator, this guy, if you follow him on Twitter, he is dead to me. He sucks. Um, today is going to be an effing nightmare. Gamer brain, this guy's a, a loser version incel PlayStation guy. Um, uh, Warhammer Dave. Uh, don't worry about things you can't control. Yup, it sucks. Halo, Gears, and Forza even going. I heard they selling Xbox to Sony and giving up altogether. Wow, look at all them lies oh, that no. was out there. That that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Oh no, that no happened. Delusion. My brother in Christ, J-Dub. J-Dub says, I'm currently driving home so I can talk about how Starfield, Halo, Indiana Jones, and everything else is going to my PlayStation 5. May God have mercy on y'all souls. I'm going in deep. No pause. Ooh, Jada, here, yeah. here's a thought. You're looking stupid worship right now. Worship your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Stop worshiping a plastic box. Get the flip flop shit on me. Just like a whole I knew in Detroit back in 62, 63. See what I'm saying? Yeah, um, you know, it was bad, man, when, um, all that information was coming out about how Xbox was going third party, Xbox wasn't making no more consoles, Starfield, and all the major first party Xbox games were going to, um, PlayStation. It was crazy, man. It was madness, man. But one good thing out of all this, I want all my Xbox people to remember. All the fake Xbox dudes got exposed for this, so I'm actually glad it happened, man. A lot of them dudes was flip-flopping and shit, man, you know, and all that flip-flopping and shit ain't gonna work, man. You know, if you if your blood is bleeding blue and not green, you know, you you, you PlayStation, man. Just go, y'all, what y'all should be doing on some real shit, what you PlayStation dudes should be doing is letting uh, PlayStation know that y'all don't like what's going on and that y'all not gonna support them unless they, you know, give y'all at least 50% of what y'all want. Cause right now, y'all getting less than 10% of what y'all want, man. So, other than that, you know, and you know, for all you fake Xbox dudes, y'all flip flopped and got caught, you know what I'm saying? And I'm happy for it, man. You know, but I'm gonna keep rolling with Xbox, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the Xbox era, man. This Xbox era, man. We rolling, we rolling with the ship, man. Right now, we sinking, uh, we, we, right now, Sony PlayStation ships is getting synced, man. Right now, we sinking ships right now over at Sony, man. 